Okay, so, let me tell you about Kamen Rider. With this franchise being nearly 50 years old, alongside having over 30 seasons plus movies, specials, and crossovers, it may seem overwhelming at first, but that's what this video is for. Starting with the basics, there are three eras of Kamen Rider. The Showa era, from 1971's Kamen Rider, also referred to as Ichigo, to the theatrical Kamen Rider J. The Heisei era, from 2000's Kamen Rider Kuga to 2019's Kamen Rider Geo and the Reiwa era, from 2019's Kamen Rider Zero One onward. Aside from being easily organizable, each era has its own style that can appeal to anyone, but where do you start? Each season is standalone for the most part, so you can really begin anywhere. Kamen Riders do appear a lot more together during a Showa era season, while the Heisei era has crossovers during movies. But again, you can basically start anywhere without worrying about watching anything prior. Now what to watch specifically? The absolute main number one thing I always recommend is... Whatever looks cool to you. Did you grow up with older monster movies and enjoy the classic feel of the Showa era? Do you like a more modern look with the Reiwa era? Maybe you like the drama of early Heisei, or the visual style of Heisei's later half. Does a particular suit stand out to you? What about the motif? Have you ever come across a cool clip and wanted to watch where it came from? Honestly, whatever interests and appeals to you is an easy start, especially since I think any season can appeal to generally anyone. Every season has a great cast, wonderful stories to be invested in, and of course, fantastic action. I'd advise against avoiding seasons just because someone else didn't like it. Who knows, maybe it could become your favorite. Everyone has their own opinion, so please, enjoy what you want. Although, if you're still stuck on what to watch, then here are a few seasons I can recommend. Kamen Rider Double O's and Forze are the first three seasons of what's known as Heisei Phase 2, or Neo Heisei. They're the easiest to get into since they're episodic while having overarching mysteries that keep you saying, just one more episode. You might be interested in Double's detective stories that has two people become one Kamen Rider or the story of a wanderer who teams up with a monster to fight the manifestation of human desires in Kamen Rider O's. Or a high schooler who juggles class and making friends with absolutely everyone while fighting monsters along the way with Kamen Rider Forze. There's a lot to love with these three, especially their cast and their heartfelt journeys. Having cool suits helps too. Earlier when I said that each era has their own style, that can also apply to the Heisei era's early and later halves often referred to as Heisei Phase 1 and Phase 2. Early Heisei has more of a dramatic and serious tone compared to the later half, but that's not to say Phase 2 can't be serious either. Kamen Rider Kuga might be the closest to a J-drama as it follows a lone rider fighting human-like monsters that are trying to play deadly games. It's a slower paced season, but those quieter moments make you enjoy the little things, like a thumbs up from our hero. Another easy recommendation is Kamen Rider Dan-O, where an accident-prone young man is thrust into a time-traveling train as he makes friends with monsters, while going through touching moments that I haven't experienced anywhere else. Of course, I'm not going over every single season. These five are just the easiest I can recommend to you for Heisei. As for Reiwa, then the next thing I can say is to watch any current season. Yeah, that's it. Showa era is just a fun time. Ichigo's cheesy yet sincere episodicness is great. Kamen Rider Stronger has some classic action. Kamen Rider Black and Black RX are well regarded by having great stories to follow. Kamen Rider ZO is a movie you can just sit down and enjoy with touching characters. These may be older than some are used to, but they shouldn't be skipped. Or at the very least, appreciate how far we've come with the franchise. Oh yeah, there are a few outliers I want to bring up as you continue your writer journey. There was an American adaptation of Kamen Rider Ryuki called Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. I personally really loved it, since it still feels like a Kamen Rider season, with great characters, story, certain tropes, and action, just with English actors. It's very unique, especially compared to its Japanese counterpart. And there is another American adaptation called Saban's Masked Rider. We don't talk about that one. The last two I want to bring up are anniversary seasons, Kamen Rider Decade and Kamen Rider Geo for Heisei Phase 1 and 2 respectively. I did say you can start anywhere. While these aren't major exceptions, you should take these with caution anyway, mostly with Kamen Rider Geo. 
Decade has a couple cameos from previous writers, but he travels through alternate versions of past writer seasons, so in a way, it's like a small taste of them. On the other hand, Gio has cameos galore and brings up a lot of past events, some of which kind of expect you to know. Again, you can watch these anniversary seasons, just be wary of them. With all that being said, there is so much I didn't bring up, since these are my personal recommendations. You can start your Kamen Rider journey anywhere you like, and I think you'll enjoy this Karate Bugman series. If there's anything you're interested in, then let me know. And to those who are already fans, then talk about your recommendations too. Just remember to be inclusive and don't tell anyone to avoid any certain season. See you next time!